Physically active 66-year-old Ken Carter is a retired attorney, a father and grandfather enjoying life to the fullest. But 10 years ago, all that was threatened with a diagnosis of prostate cancer. Ken was told he needed surgery. Oh, I, I was stunned. Um, and because I felt like I was so young. Ken was just 56 at the time. He did not want surgery and the risk of serious side effects. It would have been a, a definite change in my life. Ken went for a second opinion at UCLA, where doctors had another idea. No treatment for his prostate cancer, at least not yet. The word cancer has various levels of seriousness, and many prostate cancers will never metastasize, will never cause morbidity, will never kill you. Uh, and we used to take out the prostate for these uh, small, non-aggressive cancers, but we've learned that's not the right approach. Rapidly advancing technology at UCLA has made watchful waiting or active surveillance of low-risk cancers possible. Doctors fuse MRI scans with real-time ultrasound to perform biopsies of prostate cancer with unprecedented accuracy, allowing them to closely and safely monitor tumor growth. Now we are doing biopsies in a targeted fashion and we are tracking biopsy site location so that we can go back to the same spot, sample it again, uh, and see if anything happens to it over time. I was so tremendously relieved. I thought, gosh, this is kind of a, a reprieve. There are now some 550 patients in the UCLA Active Surveillance Program. Instead of treatment, they come in for regular office visits and an occasional biopsy instead. We think this is a new era in prostate cancer treatment. For several generations now, any prostate cancer found has resulted in removal of the prostate or radiation therapy. However, many people, as many as 40% of new diagnoses, do not require aggressive treatment, at least not up front. We want to be sure that the bad ones get picked out early and treated properly, and they're separated from the good ones, which can be watched indefinitely. It can be monitored closely. It's a, it's a wonderful life. The retirement, even with a little bit of cancer, I've got 10 years of some of the best years of my life, so I'm, I'm ahead of the game. <laughs>